What's going on guys? Welcome back to Grave Uncut and today we got another movie review. Today we ended up seeing Avengers Endgame. Well I'm not a big fan of Marvel but honestly I liked how the story went. I liked all the characters. Um, it was sad moments, funny moments. So yeah. So I thought. I'm Groot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How about you, Ress? Uh, overall, I did enjoy it. And this is coming from a person that only enjoys like seven, I think, seven of the Marvel films. And mind you, I saw each one of them. I was about to say, you're more of a DC guy. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, there's 22 films. I skipped Captain Marvel. I'm not gonna lie. Why did you skip Captain Marvel? I, I didn't care about it. I, I had no interest in that character I, at all. Well, that's well, that's, that's not watch, gonna. I only watched two Avengers movies. Well, I'm well, not. That's one in this one. This, 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 this review, we're not discussing Captain Marvel because that's already come and gone. I know, but like I said, I not a huge fan of the Marvel films too much, but. I think after watching all of them except for the last one, I kind of like looked at like all like the years of me like watching them and even the ones I didn't like, like I still felt like this weird connection with the movie itself, which I just felt like I was getting to feels without trying to get into feels and I was just like, why am I feeling my feels? I don't want to feel feelings at this point. <laughs> but um, like I said, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I think my only issue with the film in general was that there's one scene, big issue, and, you know, it's kind of like one of those things I can't overlook, and there were some jokes that felt forced, and then some mm. of them that felt natural, but I felt a lot of them was like forced, you know, there was a lot of pop culture, well not a lot, but there was some pop culture references, and I was just like... Wow. Uh, yeah, I was just like, well, why is this in there? But, you know, that that's just my overall general take on it. But I still enjoyed it. All right. As far as my take on uh, Avengers Endgame, I think it was a very good movie. It was a good close-off on uh, the Avengers series of films. All right, so as far as my opinion on Avengers Endgame, I had a handful of minor issues that aren't really going to affect the scoring on uh, my part in particular with this. Uh, the main, one of the minor gripes that I have was um, minor spoiler. Thor plays Fortnite. Why? <laughs> I get you were going through some shit, Thor. Why Fortnite? Because when people are depressed, they play Fortnite. That's why Fortnite. Here's the thing: so when well. I'm de when I'm depressed, I don't play games that are freaking crappy. Fuck you! What? <laughs> <laughs> I was just looking at food the whole time. I was just like, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's a crappy game. But again, it was a minor. It was a minor issue. That again, that's not going to affect my scoring on it because. It had nothing major to do with the fucking story of the movie. <laughs> True. It's just a little thing they threw on It's there. a little tiny yeah. friggin' thing. Also, Captain Marvel chopped her hair off to look like a fucking woman that's trying to find the manager I of a convenience store. I wish they this for the next video. <laughs> no, no, no. Again, like, the only... it's That's just minor shit. It's not gonna really give away anything of the story. It's kinda hard, though, because... It's yeah. like you have to spoil it that, to that's, talk that's about it. That's why I said to do, too. Well, again, again, like the, the two things that I gave out were not like major. I know. But overall, as just feeding off of what Reyes said, yeah, there were a few jokes that were forced. There wasn't as much of Tony Stark's sarcasm, which I kind of like. Meh. It made sense though. No, yeah, because it was more of a serious tone, especially for like the big finale. I mean, I guess after all the shit that happened. Yeah. <laughs> But overall, there was plenty of action in it. There was plenty to, there was plenty to enjoy, especially for anybody that's a a big fan of Marvel. Now I'm more 50/50 as far as Marvel and DC. Although I've seen more Marvel movies than DC movies. Fuck you, Reyes. 
But uh, in in the long run, it was a good movie. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty long movie. It was about three hours. Yeah, that's the one thing. It was out of I think out of all the Marvel movies, it was like the longest. Was it? The, yeah, it was. It was the longest, but like it didn't feel like it. It had a very slow build in the beginning. Like I would mm. say, like the first like hour. Like if you used to cut each hour into acts, like the first hour was definitely the the build up build but like once it gets going it gets going yeah you know so like it definitely you know was awesome and i feel like people who did not watch a good portion of the marvel films should not <laughs> watch this movie yeah because there's so many references there's so many things that call back to the films and again because i don't like most of the films i still remember like almost all of them so the fact that, that they made like there was like certain thing like key like references and like you know certain locations that they did i was just like oh i remember that from that movie i hated that movie i hated but <laughs> oh overall it was just like really cool that they you know they were able to merge everything together right into one film let's jump right into the ratings uh what would you guys go for let's start with fuda give it a 10 Oh, really? Yeah. Like 10 out of 10. I geez. thought it was a great movie. I give it an 8. I'm giving it at least a solid 9. I feel like Infinity War had a better build up than Yeah. Endgame. Yeah. I mean, I I could see I could see that. But then again, you got to remember this is after Yeah, I know. After but Thanos snapped his finger actually a and movie fucked I everything up. I enjoyed. Up. Yeah. I mean, so, I enjoyed Infinity that's War. Why I'm giving that I enjoyed time. Endgame. You know, I think it's, you know, it's a solid 8. You know, again, there were some things that just weren't answered when you watch the film, and I'm just like, um, this is kind of a major issue, <laughs> mm. you know? And it's like, it's kind of hard to ignore, but like, wh if you do ignore it, you just like take the film for what it is, you're just like, oh, okay, you know? Yeah. You end up loving it. I, I think it's good. There were some issues that I just like, as a person who, you know, respects like continuity and like story. In progress like th there's just like certain things that I was just like are we not gonna talk about this like <laughs> you know like what what's going on like how did this happen you know and then like they just like completely like shrug it off mm. but the movie is very well done it does a good justice to like the ending and how it should be right at least for our ending but there was just like those little things like as a story you know writer it just like kind of bothered me a mm. lot I was like how <laughs> continuity issues, but like there weren't any major continuity issues. Oh, that was one major one. <laughs> we'll save that for the next video that we do. Because just to make one reference here, there is going to be a second variety of the re this review video. It's just not going to be with a scoring part. It's just going to be us literally discussing every bit of the movie that we liked, disliked. Mm -hmm. I mean... That was here, but this was more to like give a synopsis to anybody that wanted to see the wants to see the movie that doesn't want it spoiled. So consider this a spoiler-free review. Because it is. Because it is. Aside from those two little minor ones, but it wasn't a story giveaway. That was a story threatening. But out of everything between the again the lack of snarkiness from from uh, Tony Stark, it wasn't a major killer. Um, there were a lot of fucking issues. Nothing major, but they were issues. One major one that I have a problem with, and this was just more for jokes, joking purposes. The one that was mainly going around social media as far as everybody's assumption of how the movie was going to end, which was where Ant-Man crawls up at Thanos' ass and expands. <laughs> <laughs> I would have gave it a 10. I if that would have happened, would have been that great fucking 11 out of 10. 10. Fuck you. <laughs> Explosive asshole. 10 out of 10. So that was our... <laughs> <laughs> that was our review. <laughs> Daniel said he wanted to add him up. <laughs> that was our review for Avengers Endgame. Now, this is the non-spoiler non version. We will have a version for the people that already saw the movie so they can discuss in the comments section. Yeah. Because we're going to discuss more in depth mm -hmm. what we really liked about the movie and the shit that we didn't like about the movie. Yeah. So, with that being said, 
Make sure you like, subscribe, and favorite. Subscribe to Race World TV. Yeah. Subscribe to Brutal Gunplay. Right. And make sure you subscribe to Grave Uncut. And we'll see you guys next week in the next review.